been throwing this ball. And... Walker. plates and we have to put them inside of these. Okay, and then we take this and it in and snaps in. So basically once we get it in, there's a little, little latch right here. Just gonna unlock. And give it a spin. Basically you just don't want it for it spinning freely. So that's kind of the next job we gotta go through. And then one of the last things we'll do is uh, go through and look at the seals on the inside of this plate. Okay, another thing we got going on on this is if you see these little levers, you can see that one's loose. Uh, inside of here, there's a spring and the little hook broke off. So it's just flopping. So we got a spring on hand this isn't the first time this has happened. back together so should be good to go well I'm in the big four-wheel drive tractor one job we do to every tractor we have we clean it out and detail it get her all spruced up so we're not sitting in our own dirt from last year I got some time for. Hot sip. I need to find the GPS system that goes in that tracker. I think it's in that black tote up there. Actually, it's this one. But I'm gonna try a different one because that screen on that one's kind of messed up. Where the other one began. Oh crap. I found it in the other shed. Dusty crusty, but I'm gonna give her a go. I also found one GPS mount, so hopefully I can find two because we need two. Okay, we're gonna find out what this thing looks like. On the other one, the screen's all busted up. So as long as the screen turns on and looks good, this will be the GPS we use for the season, the year, probably forever. Actually, I started mounting it, but what I really should do first, just to find out, is just plug it in. Oh yeah, that is rock solid. That'll be the new GPS then. So all I gotta do is just tighten these in the back. There's two of these little wing nuts. Should be off to the races. Okay, once we get these cleaned out, the next thing I'm gonna do is take these lids and these seals get really crappy. And to get a proper suction from those tanks to way out here, these seals have to be in good working order. Starting to get a lip on it. 
that's a good one to replace. So we'll, we'll get another one going for that one. Well, what we got going on is we're still working on the planter. So we're gonna unfold the thing, grease it, because there's some zerks you gotta hit that you can't hit unless it's unfolded. And then we'll just kind of work it through its motions and make sure it unfolds properly. And then we have some new GPS monitors, the G, John Deere's G5s. So we're gonna install those for the first time and see how they work as well. two-hander here. So the first thing is the wheels. Is hydraulic number one. Yep. Hopefully you can see the planter back right there. Those wheels are going down. So once they're locked into place, you can drop this bar and unlock it. And once it's unlocked, I can unfold it. Camera battery died, so it's probably a better view anyways. So you gotta be in neutral, because this actually pushes the tractor. You'll see the tractor tires move eventually. Yeah. So it's actually pulling the tractor back. And now it's pushing us. All right, and there you go. That is an unfolded planter. Now you just work the up and down the plant, but we're not gonna do that. So I'm basically gonna put her in park and he's gonna grease it. And I'm gonna start working on um, installing this new G5 unit right here. And I'll probably work through it a little bit because this is new to us there's really nothing on YouTube and it's gonna be kind of a free-for-all really because I mean I don't know I don't even know what it's gonna look like we'll find out together all right so this here's the unit I'm gonna take this and then we have some brackets that I'll have to find and uh, swap them out so this is sitting low enough where you can see it drug have to raise that stand up. So this here is a very expensive unit, so I gotta be very careful with it. All right, so here's all the hardware we need. Um, I just gotta swap out this plate that, instead of having the two, it now has these four. And then I got four brand new wing nuts. So here's the old hardware. Um, it's gonna be pretty straightforward because we can reuse this bracket, which is good. Cause I think those are like 60 bucks at John Deere. Just not losing parts. These little guys are important. Out with this, in with this. So now. <laughs> okay. Assuming this side's down, because of the wiring, I might as well just hook that up right away. Ouch. There we go. This runs auto steer so you don't have to steer the tractor that's kind of the main feature um it'll also track um you know population control on a planter our planter doesn't do that but this will do that if you're in a combine it would read your yield and all that stuff if you're spraying it's going to read pressure like tip pressure swath control which is like painting behind you to show where you've already sprayed and overlap what else auto shut off to show if nozzle section shuts off when you're spraying so it shows you basically what you have and have not sprayed uh, it does all sorts of things but all right there we go boring parts over so now that it's on here safely i'm going to pull this off that looks nice we're gonna turn the tractor on so you're seeing what I'm seeing in real time. This is all brand new. I don't I have no idea what's gonna pop up next. I have no idea what it wants to do. Oh, you know what though? We don't have a globe attached. So I'm gonna have to go attach a globe quick so that I can get GPS signal. Got a globe up there now. Here's what we got going on. 
a warning. Read the manual. 8210. Well, that's cool. Next. So, basically what it wants me to do is tell them where the globe is. So, it is dead center. So, number one is zero. And then, number two in line offset so it must be to the hitch and then i'll have to measure the height of where the globe is this is showing me the cab so i'm going to measure the cab first thing we need is the measuring tape and i will start with going top to bottom see how tall it is i'll plug that number in and then i'll just i guess measure the width of the cab because that's what it's showing on the monitor plug that in and then we'll go from there I got, let's see, number two, 64 inches. Oh, 64, like that. Yep. 121. Oh, geez, there's more connections. Connection offsets. Ah, we're going to want to know that. So we're using a three point, which is that little, the bar. Um, it's actually, this is actually considered a two point but it is the three point on the tractor. It wants us to measure basically from the cab measurement to the back of the three point there to calculate, um, I guess, where the planter's sitting. 45. I could add in the draw bar. Yeah, I might as well. So we're gonna add a new implement. Implement name is the model number we're using is a 1770 type of equipment. Grain cart, air cart, other, I guess. What the hell? Controller. Brake controller, specialty crowd, lateral operation, implement receiver. Oh yeah, there's no there's no GPS on the implement. So connection type, three point. It is a pivoting three point. Pivot offset. What? Oh, okay. One more measurement. Everything's one-handed in YouTube. 18 inches. Eighteen. Okay, operation. Select operation. Here we go. Planting seeds. I don't know why it has air cart. I don't even know what an air cart is. Grain cart? Why would that be a standard option? I don't get that. See, this controller one kind of throws me off because we don't have something that'll read from this to that, the planter. We just have this old school um, digital one that works, it does the job. Because ours is all mechanical. There's no electronics on it. Um, so I don't know if I should select yield documentation or not. I'll do none. Okay, so I have to go out, measure all these. Same thing as like what I did with the tractor. 16 row. Let me plug it in. Row width, 30 inch rows. I'll measure the rest of this crap, come back, and we will get this thing set up. I got those numbers plugged in, so these working points, which is where the actual blades are, I'll have to measure. Okay, and then I have to select how I want it to record. On this one, I almost think I have to go with this hydraulic number one when it's engaged. I can also record when the auto track's engaged. That might be a good option. But on here, I think the most accurate one is going to be hydraulic number one, which is this one. And this lowers the planter, and it has to be in constant, so it'll record accurately to paint behind it on, on the monitor. All I gotta do is get this measured, and then I think I'm done. All right, I got all that in. I hit save. Okay, now it's asking me crop. We are gonna be planting corn first. Okay, updated track spacing. Okay, that's because, yep, I'm gonna update equipment. Yep, there we have it. So there's our little planter attached to the tractor. I think for now I'm pretty much done with this. Um, I think I'm at a stalemate. I think I'll call it, call it good. So now that I have that done, I'll probably have enough footage for a good lengthy video there, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna call it, it's a good stopping point. Like, subscribe, share it, comment, whatever you need to do. <laughs> I will see you in the next episode. Adios.